a common exercise we see a lot will ask if two different line segments are represented by the same vector. So here we have a line segment PQ from negative 2, 2 to 5, 8, which has a certain direction and a certain magnitude. And then we have the line segment RS from 3, 1 to the point 10, 9, term, uh, initial point to terminal point. So how do we tell if these are represented by the same vector? Well, you might guess that maybe we could graph them. And that's not a terrible idea, but the only problem with that is, is um, uh, th the fine details. You, they might generally look the same, but if the slope is off just a little bit, or if the length is a little different, even a, a minor amount, they would be represented by different vectors. So we don't usually wanna do these graphically because we usually can't trust our eyes to, uh, to tell us the answer or not. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, a better question might be, uh, do these guys have the same component form? Because if you put PQ in component form, it's gonna have its initial point drawn at the origin. And if RS is represented by the same vector, then when you put it into component form, it should match up with the other one. And so really that's all we're gonna do, is we're gonna write PQ in component form, let's call this guy vector V maybe, and we'll write RS in component form, we'll call it vector W. And if these guys match, then they are represented by the same vector. And if they don't match, then, well, they're not represented by the same vector. So here we go, what's vector V? We're gonna do terminal minus initial, as you know. V in component form, you're gonna take the uh, X value for the terminal point of Q minus the X coordinate for the initial point for P and five minus negative two is seven. And then the second component for V will be six because that's eight minus two. Uh, let's do the same thing for W. We'll do again, terminal minus initial. We'll take 10 minus three, the subtract the X values to get the first component in vector W. 10 minus three is seven. So th this is looking pretty promising. So these are starting to look kind of like the same vector. And then let's do the same thing for the uh, second component for W. We do nine minus one and we get eight, not six. Okay, so that makes it pretty clear that these guys are gonna have a di slightly different direction from each other, even though they're close to being the same and they'll also have a slightly different length as well. So if you're trying to determine if two line segments are represented by the same vector, put them both in component form and then just see if they match each other.